Hello friends, in this video, we will see the basics of trigonometry. So before knowing the basics of the trigonometry, you should know what is angle. An angle is simply an, uh, a trace out of the line from its initial position to the terminal position. So let us assume, so this is the initial position of the line. This is initial position of the line. So and, uh, and its final position is at this one. So this is the final position. Okay. So the trace out from its initial position to the final position is called as angle. So this is this is called as angle. So what is angle? An angle is the trace out of a line from its initial position to the final position or terminal position is called as an angle. Okay. So this angle can be calculated with respect to the coordinate system or with respect to the circular. Okay, with respect to the circular. So this angle is calculated with respect to the uh, I mean quadrants. Coordinate means co uh, coordinate system that contains quadrants. So Q A, D R A, and D S quadrants, and with respect to the circle. With respect to the circle. So we will see how to. Uh, measure this angle with respect to the quadrants if you take two perpendicular lines okay if you take two perpendicular lines perpendicular lines means what actually they are making each other 90 degrees i mean they are making each other 90 degrees angle okay 90 degrees angle then they are called as a perpendicular line so there are two if two perpendicular we drawn and they will make four quadrants so this is called as quadrant one and this is quadrant two and this is quadrant 3 and this is the quadrant 4 okay so if we if we assume this is the initial line okay this is the initial line then we if we trace the movement of this line to here so the angle i mean generally we represent this angle using theta symbol okay so from the in this quadrant whenever the line is uh, moving from its initial position this one to here so the theta value, I mean the angle is going to be between 0 to 90. So the angle is going to be between 0 to 90. So the theta is between 0 to 90. If it is moving from and th this initial position to here. So the tracing out, that means the angle is going to be between 90 to 180. Okay, 90 degrees to 180 degrees. Okay, the second quadrant, the angle is going to be between 19 to 180. So in the third quadrant, so if it is moving from here to here, from here to here, so with respect to the this one, with respect to this one, so the angle is between 180 to 270, 180 degrees to 270. Okay, so this angle is from here to here, and the second angle is actually here to here. So from this position, from initial position. And in this case, the angle is going to be between 19 to 180. And here, the angle is going to be between 180 to 270. And here, from here to here, if it is coming, so here to here, the angle is going to be between 270 degrees to 360. 370 degrees to 360. So, based on the quadrant, actually, we can calculate the value of the angle. Okay. So, if the given line is in the first quadrant, the angle is going to be between 0 to 90. For example, the line is somewhere between here. So, the angle is going to be between 0 to 90. If the line is between somewhere here, okay, from starting from here to here, so the angle is going to be between 90 to 180, okay, 90 to 180. So, if the line is somewhere here, so the angle is going to be between 180 to 270. If the line is somewhere between here, from starting here, so the angle is going to be between 200 to 360. If the given is angle is less than 90, okay, if the angle is less than 90, so less than or equal to 90, so then it is called as acute angle, and it is called as acute angle, okay. So if it is uh, between uh, 90 to 180 degrees, if it is between 90 to 180 degrees, then it is called as obtuse angle, it is called as obtuse angle. So, if it is uh, one, uh, 90 degrees, exactly 90 degrees, then it is called 
perpendicular. Then it is called perpendicular. So if it is exactly 180 degrees, so then it is called as straight line. And it is called as straight line. If the given angle is between 180 to 360, 180 to 360, then it is called as reflex angle. Then it is called as reflex angle. Okay, so this is what angle would. So angle is what actually it is a simply trace out of a line from its initial position to final position. So this angle is can be calculated with respect to the quadrants or with respect to the circle. So when we are calculating with respect to the quadrant, so if it is in the first quadrant, the angle is between 0 to 90. If it is in second quadrant, the angle is between 90 to 180. If the line is in third quadrant, the angle is with respect to the starting point, which is going to be 180 to 270. If it is in the fourth quadrant, the angle is between 270 to 360. So if the angle is less than 90, then it is called as acute angle. If it is 90 to 180, it is called obtuse angle. If it is 90 degrees, it is called perpendicular. If it is 180, it is called straight. If it is between uh, 180 to 360, it is called as a reflexive angle. Why? Because it is the reflection of this part. Quadrant 3 and quadrant 4 are the reflections of quadrant 2 and quadrant 1. So that's why whatever angle comes between 180 to 360 is called as reflexive angle. Okay. So now we will see how to measure the angle with respect to the circular. So let us take a circle. Okay. And the radius of the circle is R. The radius of the circle is R. And, and this is also R. Okay. So this is the center of the circle O. And we assume this point is A and this point as B. Okay. This point A and this point is B. So here, if the length of the AB, then the length of the AB is equal to R. That means the arc length, this is, the arc length is equal to radius. Arc length is equal to radius. Then the angle making here is called as one radius. The angle making here is called as one radius. Okay. So that is what every so whenever we are measuring angle with respect to the circle, so whatever angle it is, uh, you know, making here is called as, is measured in radians. So one radian is equal to what? Actually, whenever the arc length, arc length is equivalent to the radian. So then the bisector, I mean, the, I mean, this sector, the whole sector is making whatever angle at the center is called as a one radian. Okay. So that means a radian is defined as the ang angle subtended at the center of a circle by an arc, by an arc whose length is equal to the radius of that circle, whose length is equal to the radius of the circle. Okay. So that means, uh, so in this case, uh, what happened actually most of the times actually, uh, whatever radians here come, actually we can measure that one with respect to the angles. So pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. So always pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. Okay. So the circumference of this circle is going to be pi into diameter. Circumference is going to be circumference is going to be equal to is equal to pi into diameter diameter okay circumference is equal to pi into diameter so pi is the actually the number of radians pi is the radians okay circumference so circumference is given by 2 pi r if r is diameter this is going to be pi into diameter is equal to 2 into radius so 2 2 and 2 2 is constant this is going to be pi into pi okay so pi is equal to pi so what is the radian? So whenever the arc of length equivalent to the radius, whatever angle is making at the center of that circle is called as a radian. Okay. So that is what all about the radian. So I hope you got this one. Please watch next video to convert radians into degrees and degrees into radians. Thank you very much for watching this one. And uh, please subscribe to my channel.